Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to give you my honest favorite blow dryer review. If you don't know who I am, my name is Nick Marabella. I've been doing hair for about 25 years. So I've been blowing out hair for a really long time. I've used everything from a Turbo Power to an Elchum to the Dyson. My favorite blow dryer. I get this question a lot. My clients always ask me, is the Dyson worth it? Is this blow dryer worth it? There is one dryer that I think is an all around solid dryer. It is the Parlux Allion. Now, Boom, it is right here. You have seen me blow out hair in my videos in the past. I'm using a graphite color blow dryer, gray color blow dryer. Nine times out of 10, it's gonna be that dryer. This has to be probably my favorite blow dryer that I've ever used. Part of the reason why I like it so much, it has multiple settings. So you don't need to be on high heat, high speed every single time you're blowing out hair. But when you're blowing out any kind of a curtain bang or you're trying to add volume to somebody with fine hair and you have all that wind blowing, it's not gonna really help you achieve what you're trying to do. So that's the reason why there's so many settings on certain blow dryers. It has an amazing cold shot on it. Why you need a cold shot? If you're trying to get body in your hair, you're trying to add a wave to your hair and you get it nice and hot, you have to cool that hair down for it to set before you unravel the brush out of it or before you take the brush out of it. So it has a cold shot on there. It has a really long cord. If you have a, a station and your, and your outlet's a little farther away from your chair or it's in a weird spot, you have enough length with your cord that you're going to actually blow out the hair with. The price tag, it is $340 something dollars on our website, $342, $345. I'll throw it in a subtitle so you guys know. It's not crazy expensive. You're not spending $450, $500 on a blow dryer that doesn't do anything special. This has all that ion technology. What that really means is it helps close the cuticle of the hair, adding shine. There is, you know, a couple other benefits like it has... Um, an antibacterial aspect of the blow dryer. If it's not this one, they do have one. Oh, it's on this one right here. It comes with two nozzles. It comes with a wide nozzle like this. It comes with a, a, a little more narrow nozzle. A lot of times the big nozzle, you can't fit into your, uh, into your little hole over there you have on the station. So that's why a lot of people use the smaller ones, but I prefer the larger one because it gives me a little more surface area on my brushes. It comes with a filter. This filter comes off very easily. Make sure you clean it. Mine is actually pretty dirty right now, so don't judge me. Like I said, the buttons. I'm a lefty. I hold the blow dryer in my right hand. When I hold it in my right hand, I'm able to access it with my any one of my fingers. I'm able to access it with my thumb. That's a plus for me. But if you hold it in this hand here, you can always kind of bend your finger back. It's not going to be a deal breaker. Cold shot right here on the front, you know, it has, like I said, three different speeds, off, obviously, no speed, medium, and then high, then you have the heat, low heat, high heat, and no heat. So if you wanted to really set someone with a brush set, just kick this thing on cold so you're not holding the cold shot the whole time with no heat, then you could really just cool down the hair and set that hair. This blow dryer is actually super, super light. If you are an older hairstylist or someone who's been doing hair for years and your shoulder and elbow and wrist is banged up, this is gonna be a great dryer. It's not gonna be super heavy. If you are someone at home and you have like a messed up shoulder, it's hard for you to kind of bring up your hand with a heavy blow dryer because you know you have really thick hair and after an hour blowing it out, you're just shot, then the weight of this is gonna be, gonna be nice. Probably out of this body style, the lightest one that's out there next to like the Turbo Power. There's something really cool with this blow dryer I really do like on the back here. This particular dryer, See this little thing here? It's gonna maybe not go into focus or I don't know if you can see that. This little crazy corkscrew type thing, this will collect any hair that seeps through so it doesn't get caught into the dryer. This piece right here pops right in there. Put my cap on there, lock it back up. That extra piece in there, what that does is, like I said, it collects any hair so you're not burning out your motor, you're not burning out your fan, you're not laying anything weird on that heating element. Out of all the blow dryers that I've ever used, this by far is probably my favorite blow dryer. It's called the Parlux Allion. Like I said, it goes for like 342, 350, some websites. You might find it less somewhere else. Uh, I've probably dropped this 50 times doing hair and there's no rattle, it still works, doesn't smell funny. This one's probably four years old and I'm a pretty busy stylist. So this has been through hell and back. I think I have two or three more in the salon that I actually use. So if this is out of your budget, right? It comes at about 350. The Turbo Power is a great substitute for this dryer. It's made from the same company and you actually have the a lot of similar components, not the same components, but you're gonna get a great dryer for a little bit less money. I don't see this being expensive. It's gonna last you forever rather than buying a $200 dryer that's gonna break or buying you know, a $100 dryer that's gonna break in a year and then you have to keep buying one. This should last you pretty much forever unless you drop it and kick it down the stairs and throw it in the bathtub. Any questions or comments about this dryer, shoot a comment down below and I will do my best to answer it. The link for this product will be right down there, somewhere in the description. If you want to save 10% on this dryer, use code NICK10 and you'll get 10% off. I will see you guys next time and I hope that you, you buy this dryer and you love it. All right, bye.